Welcome to Animology, where I'll show you firsthand that working with animals, whether exotic or domestic, is not all fun and games. So join me as I travel to different locations, going behind the scenes to see what it really takes to care for some of the world's most amazing animals. Hey guys, welcome to another webisode of Animology. Today I am in Middle Tennessee at Walton's Puddle, a wildlife rehabilitation and education center. And that is always their mission to return these animals that come to them as soon as possible back into the wild. Unfortunately, some of these guys aren't able to due to certain head trauma, uh, wing amputations, certain things that won't make them survive out in the wild. And with me today are one of these guys. This is an Eastern Screech Owl, and his name is Carson. And Carson is used for education purposes to show why these guys are so important to the environment. Now Carson is an Eastern Screech Owl and he is actually considered a gray face, but there are really two phases in their colors. Depending on what part of the United States they live in, they can either be a mix between the gray, a real dark, or all the way to a brick red. Now Carson may look like a baby great horned owl, but he's actually full grown. Weighing in about six and a half ounces, Carson weighs about as much as about seven paper clips. Not a lot at all, but his feathers actually make him look a lot bigger. Now, Eastern Screech Owls are prey to a lot of bigger owls, and so the way they defend themselves, they do two different types of defenses. One, which he's kind of displaying right now, is they get puffed up, which makes them look a lot bigger than what they are. Another defense is they'll get really, really skinny and slim down and huddle up next to a trunk and that will make him blend in looking like he's not even there. Like most owls, eastern screech owls are nocturnal hunters, meaning they're most active during the night. Now these little guys can eat up to a third of their body weight in insects and small mammals. And for more information about Carson and other Tennessee wildlife, you can visit walnspuddle.org. And be sure to stay tuned for another webisode of Animology with me, Mallory Clark.